Hey guys, welcome to Meanwhile in the Ham Shack. This is not a full episode. This is kind of a quick hit. Now, I've been cleaning out a garage in Chicago that's full of 50 years of stuff. And uh, there's all these little gems I'm finding as I'm going through this garage. And one of the things that I found was this. This right here. This is a uh, Heathkit AM radio, which had been sold as a kit and that I built apparently in 1973. Now, I got a big kick out of finding this uh, because I built a bunch of stuff from Heathkit. Uh, I built a crystal radio, I built this radio, I built an oscilloscope, and there's some other ones that are around. Maybe I'll show them, I don't know. Uh, but uh, this was um, this was the first thing that I built where I kind of knew what I was doing. Crystal radio was easy, really easy. This was a little bit of a different uh, a different ball game for a kid of that age, anyway. So uh, I did a little research on it, and what ended up happening was. I found a back copy, a back, uh, back issue of Elementary Electronics, which was the magazine you read if you were a kid and you were into technology in the 70s. So this, is a, a, this would be an issue from 1973. And um, I'm just going to scroll down here. Uh, and this was an educational magazine, uh, you know, basically aimed at kids into technology, which was really great. And as I was going through here, I noticed here was the Heathkit AM radio for sale. It was $14.95, and its model number was GR1008. So I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to take this apart so you can see what something like this looked like. And then um, we're going to take a plunge and find out if a 43-year-old radio built by me actually still works. This ought to be fun. So let's take a look at it. The first thing that has to happen is that this dial has to come off. Okay. And because the radio will not disassemble with the dial in place. And let's see if we can get this without totally destroying the radio. And there we did. We did it. So here's the dial. That's off. And it would just do this to tune. And then I can flip the radio over. I've already removed the set screw here. I can just lift the lid right off. And there is the main circuit board. And um, this board right here essentially would be given to you naked. And all of the parts that are connected to it would be in, a little, in, in little bags. And uh, you'd have to identify the components and put them in the right place and that sort of thing. Which for a seven-year-old kid was, was fairly ambitious. So I'm going to lift this out here and show you the actual board. And so there's the actual board. And uh, here's the antenna, by the way. This item right here. Let me see if I get a better view of that. That's an old school coiled AM antenna. <laughs> and uh, here's all the components. We got capacitors, we got resistors, we got transistors. There might be a diode in there somewhere. And uh, <clears throat> that's uh, that all, every single one of these components I personally affixed to this board. And those are the soldering joints of KD8TUT from the age of seven. Don't look too closely, there's probably some cold ones. So the big question I had when I got a hold of this is, does it still work? And I don't know. Uh, so we're gonna take the plunge right here and see if it works. We're gonna give it a shot right here because I, I found a nine volt battery and here's the nine volt connector. And this pot right here is the power on switch and volume switch for the unit. So I have everything I need to test it. 
So let's see if it actually works. You know, this could be really interesting. Will the 43-year-old uh, transistor radio work? That's, that's what I want to know. Will it work? So I've got the battery in there. Let's see if she powers up. Okay, we've got something. Let's try tuning. <laughs> Can you hear that? Now there's a little bit of an irony here. I don't know if you can hear this, but the, the commercial on the radio, they're talking about you get 10 gigs a month. So I'm listening to an internet advertisement on a 43-year-old radio, which I built. I can't believe it. Look at that. Let's see if we can hear something more. Wow. It might be easier to fine-tune it if we have this on there, so I'll put this on the post. And we'll tune it a little more. All right, it works. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not going to sit. I'm going to play with this thing for a while, uh, but I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me play with it. So uh, with that, thanks for watching. This has been a, a quick hit. This, uh, meanwhile, in the Ham Shack, supplemental quick hit on uh, 927 2015 I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you with a full episode fairly soon. Take care now. Bye.